Hello everyone, and welcome to my solo RPG journal. Today, we're not playing a game. Today, this is more of an announcement video. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be releasing uh, campaign videos for Age of Fantasy Skirmish. We are playing... I've rolled a one. I just, I just recorded this video, or thought I'd recorded it. Apparently, I didn't hit the record button. Instead, I uh, talked to myself for five minutes. But I rolled a 1, so I've got 5 missions to play in this campaign. And we are playing with these 4 factions, each starting at 150 points. So with Age of Fantasy Skirmish campaigns, everyone, all uh, warbands start at 150 points. And as the missions go on, they gain more points, which can be then spent between missions. Going over each of the factions quickly. The first faction is the Lituan Scouts, a band of wood elves led by the druid Alora of Clan Lituin. They have the treeman Athras, the lone watcher Harel, the guardian Adana, and the warrior Sorel. They are fairly standard. Elora is a wizard 2, as opposed to a wizard 1. And the Guardian Adele has rapid fire arrows. Otherwise, they're pretty standard for their class, I think. Yes, I haven't upgraded the hand weapon. The next warband is the Vampiric Undead warband, Clara's Horde, led by the Vampiric Necromancer, Clara. Clara has three ghouls, three skeletons with without upgrades, and three skeletons with spears. I haven't named any of the skeletons or ghouls as they are reasonably disposable and mindless. Maybe they will get names as the campaign goes on and they actually survive through, uh, but we will see. The next warband is the Autumn Expedition, led by the engineer, uh, the Dwarven engineer, Edric Orton. He has with him the two veterans, Hildred and Ethelwid, two elites, Yavia and Alethid, Althalid, and the Iron Warrior, Reshek. They are, I think I've upgraded them to have great weapons, except for the Iron Warrior, who just has the one hand weapon. But I'm sure that's going to change after the first campaign, the first mission. And last but not least, we have Chevelle's troop, led by Eustian Chevelle. Um, I haven't named any of his troops, but he has three infantry men with spears, three normal infantrymen, and three marksmen with crossbows. So these are actually crossbows, whereas in previous games I have uh, proxied them for riflemen. And... Uh, now he has a great weapon. Uh, Eustine Chevelle has a great weapon. And otherwise, I think that is all of the changes. As these um, troops go on and actually achieve things, I might give them names. But for the moment, uh, they are nameless. And that is the three, the four warbands that we're moving ahead with for this campaign. We will probably play mostly two-on-two two games making sure that everyone has an even number of games. Uh, but we might also play some three-on-three three games. We might have, we'd have to play three of them in order to get everyone uh, on the board. Um, and we might play one or two four-on-four four games, which will be interesting. I'll also be using missions for the first time. So I'm looking forward to this. I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you next time.